estimator today uh, will need the power and the efficiency of ACCE to be able to answer the strong and important questions that their management are asking of them. It might be investment decisions, it might be decisions on go, no go for projects, it might be evaluating alternatives, which today is critical. Not every project is going to get approved and to know which are the winners and which are the losers is the information that management needs to be successful. Before we used the Aspen tools for estimating, we would do factored estimates. And so the factored estimates would be uh, just a method to come up with costs. And so the, the factor would be maybe off of any, a mechanical equipment cost or even just the capacity of a facility and we come up with a cost based off of that. Well, with Aspen Capital Cost Estimator, we're able to use that same information, that piece of equipment, load it into the tool and actually have a design based that's uh, scope driven, quantity uh, based estimate that we can do a review on and actually substantiate and, and give our client a better understanding of, of what is included in the estimate. It also allows us at that point in time to make subtle changes that we couldn't make before. For instance, if we had to extend the length of a pipe rack. In a, in a previous type when we were doing factored estimates, you would just say it's part of the factor, it's in there. It's not, we can't get that decisive. But in an Aspen Capital Cost Estimator, we can. We can actually change the length of that pipe rack and when you do, your quantity of steel, quantity of concrete, quantity of lighting, fireproofing, and so forth, increase or decrease based on the length that you've changed it. And those are studies then that the client can, uh, our clients can come back to us with, and we can actually give them better assurance that their changes or their final layout would be better than, than we could if we were just using a factor. Models that we've built and new work that we're doing with those models, we're able to, to do estimates of of high quality class three estimates with quantities and pricing and about half the time that we could do before. As far as production for our clients, we're not having to spend as much uh, engineering time. Uh, as a matter of fact, there's, there's little engineering uh, associated with those because it's already captured in the models. It's a class three estimate, so it's not real detailed. It's a conceptual quality of an estimate. And it's just much better quality than uh, a class four, class five factored estimate would be for them. And so that's probably our biggest change that we've seen in terms of outcome for our clients. And we're able to do that with just a couple of estimators. So we don't have to have a whole team of, of you know eight or 10 estimators developing that because we've already captured the scope. So it's the, the, the MTOs are there for the piping, the steel, the concrete, everything's already there. So we just change it to match the current requirements. As long as it's the same process type of facility, um, then we just change the, the site locations really, which would impact the soil conditions, maybe concrete and labor conditions. And, and then we're, we're done. It's, it's much faster and, and more efficient. So as far as real numbers, that's, I would say that's about half of the man hours that it would take us to do uh, regular, uh, of regular class three of the same quality.